Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Aguian and here's some of the top stories we have for you tonight. A follow-up on St. Croix's latest murder. Trouble at Golden Grove once again. Local heroes come home from Kosovo and the winners of the Hal Jackson Talented Teen Contest. These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. top story tonight, the family members and the Virgin Island Police Department need your help to find the killers of 19-year-old Eston Farrell. He was found murdered recently in the strawberry section of St. Croix. Here's Melody Rains with more. Major crime detectives on St. Croix are appealing to the community for information regarding the death of 19-year-old Eston Farrell, whose body was found in an abandoned house in a state strawberry on Saturday, May 15th. Police said Farrell's parents last saw him at about 7.30 a.m. Friday and reported him missing at about 8 a.m. Saturday. Detectives said Farrell's vehicle, a red Toyota Tercel, was torched at about 10 p.m. Friday night. His lifeless body was found at about 6 p.m. on Saturday. Police are appealing to anyone who may have seen Farrell or his vehicle in a state strawberry recently. Police said Farrell or someone else may have been driving his car. Anyone with any information, no matter how insignificant you may think it is, please call police and report it. Your information may be the missing piece needed to solve this homicide. A current photo of Farrell has been sent to the media along with a photo of his car. Again, anyone having any information related to the disappearance or death of Eston Farrell is asked to call the Criminal Investigation Bureau detectives at 712-6077 or 712-6037 or you can call Crime Stoppers USVI at 1-800-222-TIPS. Thanks, Melody Rames of the Virgin Islands Police Department. And in other news, Golden Grove has received trouble once again. Inmate Jimmy Davis has been accused and arrested of beating another inmate with a broomstick. Both inmates have sustained injuries during the attack and are at Juan Louis Hospital recovering. We'll have more on this story tomorrow. And now we return back to PIO Melody Rames, who has more on the saturation project here in the territory and some of the things that they've discovered. Police on St. Croix confiscated two illegal weapons and arrested two suspects recently. The arrestees were Rafael Munoz, other state Mount Pleasant, and Leodel Leo Isles, other state Adventure Hill. Now, Rafael Munoz, who's age 30, was arrested at about 6 40 a.m. on Friday, May 14th, and charged with unauthorized possession of a firearm and contempt of court. The Criminal Investigation Bureau detective said Munoz was free on a pretrial release in connection with another case when he was charged with a firearm possession. He was held without bail until a decision was made at his advisor rights hearing. And then on Wednesday, May 12th, at about 8 p.m., police arrested Leo Leodel Isles age 27 and charge him with unauthorized possession of a firearm. That's the second firearm that was picked up um, recently. Isles was detained by members of the Saturated Patrol Unit Special Operations Bureau while driving a vehicle in Fredericksburg Town. The Police Operations Bureau um, arrested him and they checked the vehicle and they confiscated a handgun that had a laser scope on it and also in his possession was a police badge and a firearms record check revealed that the handgun was previously reported stolen from a St. Croix resident who had um, uh, had that weapon license, legally licensed to him. I was held on a $25,000 bail and remanded into custody. Thanks again, Melody Rains of the Virgin Islands Police Department. Well, believe it or not, gas prices are going up again in our territory. News Channel 8's West Small takes it to the pump. Thanks a lot, Jerome. Before I um, start interviewing the very beautiful Shatima, I want to tell you about what's going on with gas prices. Yes, they are on the rise. Now, some of the reasons, the infamous Hobenza rack rate, it goes up every month. Uh, that's like an adjustment. But um, this time, don't forget, we have a huge oil leak in the Gulf of Mexico. I'm going to get to that in a second. Also about summer driving on how historically they always raise up the prices every summer. But I find it interesting. If we're partnered with Venezuela, then why are you talking about summer driving? I mean, come on, this is the Virgin Islands. And also, the oil spill, that shouldn't affect Venezuela, should it? Well, you never know with OPEC. 
I'm here now with Shatima, and she just got back from Virginia. And you have an interesting uh, little tidbit to share. Um, yeah, I was actually shocked when I got back because the gas prices here are higher than they are there. And ordinarily, I'm always joking, my sister lives there with her, that we have cheaper gas prices. Um, but actually, their rate for regular is about 287. In fact, at Sam's Club, you can get it for 277 um, for regular gasoline. And I came back here and saw that it's 309. Now, that was a little shocking to me because we have a refinery right here and it's not being shipped. There's no over the road. There's, you know, no trucking expenses. Um, and I was a little shocked by that. And I agree with you, Wes, about the Venezuela deal. That was BP, British Petroleum. What does that have to do with Petavisa? I have no idea because we should be, the way I calculate, about 265 a gallon. Well, don't go anywhere because, um, you know, the owner in here, he wanted to get his two cents out, but I did talk to it. Um, a gas station owner and here's what's going on as a consumer you are now paying 12 cents per gallon that's your gross receipt tax and you used to pay four cents for each gallon so that might be one of the reasons why gas is going up as well and guess what we could point to government house for that one but meanwhile all I could say is uh, use your multitasking um, if there's carpooling in the Virgin Islands use it and uh, just try to do the right thing. Maybe don't kill your AC. Right now, I'm going to take you out west, where, believe it or not, um, it's a little cheaper out west in the western part of St. Croix. Let's find out what's under $3 a gallon. I'll tell you that on St. Croix, here at Upper Love Gas Station, this is not bad, actually, $2.99. Um, that's what's going on. As you can see, we've had a lot of prices over $3 for um, a gallon of gas. As a matter of fact, um, on St. Croix, if you could find a place like Upper Love for $2.99 or $2.91 for regular gas, you're doing very well. Most places are over $3 a gallon. St. Thomas, $3.53 for mostly um, regular. That's the bottom there. And St. John, $3.59. Here we are at Upper Love Gas Station. Oil prices are on the rise once again, hitting us in our pockets. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Thanks, Wes. Well, our heroes have returned home a little earlier than expected. News Channel 8's Lee Carl files this report. <laughs> Colonel Lovin Meyer, the battalion commander of the 104th. With me, I have Captain Hector, who is the commander of the 661 MP Company. First Sergeant Carty and Colonel Ruin is the chief of the Army. Okay, very good. Back from Kosovo, huh? Yes, sir. Good feeling or what? Very good feeling, sir. Yeah. Who's back here? Who's what? Who's back here? St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. John? Both. Both? Mixture. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and how about you, Cardi? Yes, I'm um, glad to be back home. Glad to, the family glad to see me back home also. The military police guys, uh, you had to take care of making sure who's coming in, who's going out, all that stuff. Well, they, they had their security mission over in Kosovo. I'm here representing the Adjutant General, Major General Rinaldo Rivera, and the Director of the Joint Staff. Uh, Colonel El Elton Lewis. At the Shirley King Airport, Lee Carl for News Channel 8. Thanks, Lee Carl, and welcome home to the men and women from Kosovo. Hal Jackson is next. Stay with us on Channel 8.